See, that's the type of year we're headed into. It's not like exactly what we think. It's a year of triumph and victory like we've never had before. But it's also a year of going and facing. See, this whole decade is about coming face to face. This whole era that we began in September of 2019 is about coming face to face. And the decade is about the big face off. And that big face-off is increasing year by year by year. And so, when Yeshua came out, he came out as Messiah. He went in as Messiah, but that had never manifested in him. See, we were singing about manifesting. There comes a moment where that thing in you that's been put there, that's been seething in you, that's been settling in you, the Lord says, wait a minute, it's time to manifest that thing. He had never manifested himself as Messiah. And when he came back, remember, he went back to Cana, where he was from, and all of a sudden he had this incredible new identity They rejected him. They were so familiar with his last identity as teacher rabbi and as carpenter deluxe and as Mary's son and knew all of his family that when he got back in to them with this new manifestation of who he was for the future... They said, no way. So the whole territory shut down. Even God himself couldn't do miracles. He could heal a few sick people. That's how strong of authority we have in an atmosphere. Now, that's another thing I want you to understand as we approach these gates of our cities. That is how strong our human spirit can control a whole territory. And Yeshua just had to keep moving. You know what he had to do? He had to change locations and set up his work coming out of Capernaum. His goal was Jerusalem, but he had to have a place that he worked from and taught from because Canaan couldn't see the new. Now, I'm telling you, we're going to stop right now and decree that we will see the new when the new comes in front of us. John, I was thinking about what you were saying. Because, see, Paul had a, Paul was brilliant. And Paul knew everything there was about religion. And Paul was the biggest persecutor of the new move when Yeshua left it for the apostles. See, always there comes a point where there's, it's time for the new move. Yeshua left it with the apostles, and the apostles started moving, and their biggest persecutor was Saul of Tarsus, who was brilliant, religious understanding beyond. And the only way something could touch him was for one of them to die, and he see the glory. And when Stephen died and he saw the glory on him, something happened to him. Shifted his brain network. He couldn't get it, but it shifted him. He said, wait a minute. There was something very peculiar about that instance. And Peter's whole, I mean, Stephen's whole attitude about forgiveness And all of a sudden, see, like 
the glory came down with Yeshua, the glory came down with Stephen. And Paul couldn't get away from the glory. Look at somebody and say, we're not going to be able to get away from the glory this season. That's what I'm sending you out into today. You, you cover this territory pretty well. And this territory is not going to be able to get away from the glory. Now, now, always remember, every year is a war year. And uh, war just means conflict. It means there's conflict that you're having to face off. That's what the whole era is about. And with it, here's how we're facing off because this era of pay is about coming face to face, but it's also about speaking. Go ahead, Aaron. You're going to have to speak, and what comes out of your house here is what's going to affect the place you're speaking in. It has great authority. And you're contending for authority. And see, we're already four years in to this year. Let's look at this graph for us to look at. Because I came to the conclusion people were thinking that time was linear and once a year ended, that year was over. That is not how it works in God's calendar. That, when Jesus got baptized, that wineskin skin is still going. It's manifesting here at King of Kings. See, time continues on in a cycle, a circle. And we're already, we began this at Feast of Tabernacles 2019, and now we're already into 5784, approaching the year 2024. See, you're almost halfway through this era. Look at somebody and say, thank God for that. <laughs> 